everybody. Tiff is off today, so New York Times bestselling author and comedian Jen Lancaster joins me. She has sold more than a million books documenting her attempts to shape up, grow up, and have it all. We're going to chat about her latest book in just a bit. There it is right there. It's called Welcome to the United States of Anxiety. Hey there, Jen. Hey, good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I always love seeing you. Usually it's here in person, but it's good to see you virtually. I don't usually have half my pajamas on when I see you, so this is delightful. <laughs> I know. it is. That is the one plus, I think, for those of us who work from home. But I wonder um, if, you, if you think of yourself as a positive person, and if so, what is it that keeps you positive during this, this pandemic, or what's just getting you through it? I think what has kept me positive is that I am 100% somebody who would thrive under house arrest. <laughs> I work from home. My husband works from home. The greatest thrill of my life is not having to put on pants. So in the continuum of things, not having kids, this has not been so hard on us. And I think that this would be a lot harder if I had to work a full-time job and also teach my kids math. Right. I don't have kids. Yeah, the, and the math thing in, in particular freaks me out. Mine are all too old now for me to help with high school math. But I know, I know you don't have kids, but you do love pets. How are your pets doing? Do, have you noticed any changes in behavior? Um, I guess since you're home all the time. Oh, there, there's one of them lounging around. That's in a, Hambone. <laughs> what up, Hambone? Um, <laughs> how are your pets doing? You know, for the first few weeks, I mean, we would occasionally leave the house. So for the first few weeks that we didn't leave at all, they thought that was great. But then after about a month or so, they would just look at us like, so you're not going anywhere. You just <laughs> here. So it started to stress them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the pets have had to have a new normal, get used to that too. One of the things that I read is that you've been having some virtual game nights with friends and I love games. I wonder what games you're playing. I don't know if it's like poker, like I hear people talking about, or do you have a favorite oh, game? Poker will be way too, way too mathy for my girls with Zoom <laughs> and wine. We've done a lot of different games online. We've done, when it was online, the Cards Against Humanity version. We've done categories. We've done trivia. I mean, it's just, it's a great opportunity to get together with my friends every week. I'm more social now that I don't have to go anywhere than before when I was allowed to go places. Right. Yeah, I get it. One of the things, too, that I know about you is, is that you're into trash picking. I, I love that, that <laughs> you, you like to th see things that you think are valuable that have basically been tossed aside, that, that someone else has decided is no longer a treasure. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you got started with that. When I was a little girl, I had to walk to and from school twice a day because I went home for lunch and we were at the end of a long street and I would see everyone's garbage on the curb and I would see people throwing away a perfectly good fill in the blank. So my childhood home was filled with books and tennis rackets and toys that other people didn't want. So that's something that I've always loved. And then when I became a professional, I worked negotiating with hospitals and I would negotiate in the suburbs and then I would drive around after these million dollar negotiations and see what they had in their trash. <laughs> See, I like that's good for the environment. It makes me wonder too. Are you into thrift stores? Do you do you shop thrift stores? Thrift stores are the greatest thing that have ever happened to me in my life. Uh, a few years ago, I'd lost quite a bit of weight and I had all these clothes to get rid of, but then I needed to buy new clothes and I was between book contracts, so I couldn't just donate them. I sold some of them on Poshmark and that became addicting. So now I hit thrift stores safely every week. I find treasure. I, the things people give away, it astounds me. I mean, every designer that you can think of, Gucci, Versace, Dior, uh, Mara Hoffman, Veronica Beard, anyone you can think of, I found, I mark it up, I resell it, it stays out of a landfill. It works for everybody. It's great for the charities. It's it is so fun. It's treasure hunting. Yeah, and I love your attitude about upscale. My oldest daughter, well, both of my daughters actually would, would love you for that reason, because <laughs> my oldest daughter calls it instant fashion um, that you can always afford. Um, they absolutely love thrift stores, whether it's getting a costume 
or just find finding a pair of jeans that have a different cut or something like that. So it's our sound off question today. We're, we're asking people on Facebook, Jen, to, to sound off about what's the best thing they've ever found at a thrift store. That's in honor of you and your trash picking. <laughs> but something else I have to talk about because I know that you love peonies and you, you posted this quote that said the beauty of the peony season is justified by its beauty. And I, I have peonies in my home garden. I don't have a lot in my garden, but I do have peonies. I'm always bummed because their, their, their shelf life is, is so short. You know, they bloom and they're gorgeous, but then they're, they're done. But I think it is the most incredible flower. And I love that you like peonies too. The trick with them is you really do have to rinse them off thoroughly or you're going to fill your house with ants. ants. That's yes. Because they're beautiful, but they come at a cost. And what's so nice is I've always toured for my books in in, Mar in May, in June, when they're blooming. So this, only for the last couple of years have I even been home to see them. Yeah, you're right. Yes, I totally get that. I absolutely love peonies. All right.